Hello everyone, it's Miss Denise and Reagan, and welcome to Cuisine for Kiddos from Aram Library. Well, today we're going to be making, are you ready? Tie-dye Valentine cookies. Mm. Does that sound fun? <laughs> All right, our counter's been wiped off, our hands are washed, we're ready to get started. Well, we are doing cutouts from the Pillsbury um, cookie dough that you buy in a log. And so Reagan is gonna help by rolling it out. Now, first of all, first of all, we need to knead a little bit of flour. You can put just a nut pinch in. Okay. And I'm gonna mush it up for you a little bit and let you roll it out. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll. Well, girl, you are doing great. Okay. Okay, let's push this part together here. How about if I help you roll this part out right here? There we go. And a little bit down here. And you want to roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thickness. That looks perfect. Okay, we're gonna stop and cut. Do you know what to do? Okay, and pick it up, press it in again, press it in, no, no, just leave that one, I'll get it in a minute. And press it in again. Let's do some of these. These are a different one. Press that one in. And mm, I bet we could get one more. You think right there? Let's turn it this way so it fits. Press it in. Oh, you are like a pro. All right. So now I'm going to take them out you, you and can put also, them on the cookie sheet. You can also like, um, like break it apart. Oh, are you taking the dough apart? Thank you. You know what to do, don't ya? You've done this before. Very nice job. Very nice. And then you know what we do with that? We roll it out again. Oh, I'll get it. It's a little stuck. There we go. Okay. So then. Yep. Yeah, put some more flour down. Who taught you to do that? To put more flour down. How did you know to do that? Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, roll. Wee! 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 You gotta get this side too. Okay, it's stuck a little bit. We need more flour. I wanna. You do it. Okay. Roll. And let's get this side. Okay, now we've got to we've got to cut, press. And again. And. All right. Yum. Yum. These will be so Yum. good. Yum. And it's okay if they're not quite perfect. That's what makes them taste even better, I think. Like this one here. Thank you. Like this one here. Oh, you know what? That one, I think, got a little thin. We'll just save that one for another time. Okay, so you get the idea of how to roll out the cookies. If you buy the Pillsbury um, dough in a log, you have to knead it with some flour 
And then after you have your cookies cut out, you bake them at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Okay, we're gonna stop with that. Now we're gonna make frosting. You ready? Frosting! Yep. Now frosting. These are our cookies. This is what they look like when they're all done. And we sampled already. Were they good? Frosting! Frosting! Okay. I'm gonna give you a sponge and let you clean up, okay? How's that? Can you wipe? There we go. And a paper towel to dry. That's pretty good. How are your hands? Do you need a towel to wipe your hands? Okay. Dad free. Then sprinkles. Then food. Then spoon knife. Here you go. Wipe your hands. Then first, then spoon, then spoon knife. All right, we're ready. <laughs> you know how to use a whisk, don't you? Okay. Whisk, 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 whisk. That's it. So. You have to dump in one cup of powdered sugar. <laughs> Along with that, we need a bit of vanilla. And I'm going to let you hold the spoon. About a half a teaspoon. Okay, that's it. And... We also need a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt. Oh, little, little overflow. Oh, well, it's okay. And the next thing is three tablespoons of milk. So I'm going to, I'm going to dip it and I'm going to let you pour it. One. You know what? I'm not sure we're going to need three tablespoons. Um, we'll do two and then, here, help me. Ooh. And I'm going to let you whisk. You whisk and we'll see if we need another one. <laughs> I think we need another one. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. Jingle bells, if you want. That's okay. Ooh, Valentine's is always best when you share a friend. Friends and giving Valentine and with you ever tested. I love that song. Where'd you learn that? Where did you learn that, Reagan? Was that at school? I just made it up. You made it up? Valentine's are best when you share with friends. I think you're right. Keep listening. You're doing great. Okay, so here's what we do next. That's pretty well mixed up. So now I'm going to put some of that in this bowl. Can I put them in? You want to help me pour? Yay. Help me hold the bowl. Okay, good. That's about half. About half. And now you have to whisk some more. Are you ready? I'm going to do the food coloring, and you mix it up. We're making it red because these are tie-dye cookies. Mix, mix. You're doing great. Ready. <laughs> Those are pretty, aren't they? Pretty color. Look at it. Yes, yes. Mix it up a little more. Don't get any on yourself. Powder is easy to wipe up. Oh, you're mixing it really well. And so My this baby. is how we do our tie-dye cookies. <laughs> you need a little Valentine's is good. Uh, uh, to sit and, and we all got our tea. 
each other and then say with a yeah, yeah. And I'm going to let you put some of the red on the plates. Yay! Take the spoon and put, <laughs> put just one spoonful. Put it right here on this side. And a little more. <laughs> And a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to show you what we'll do next. We're taking a toothpick, and I'm going to make make it kind of go together like that. And this is what you're going to do next. I'm going to do one first, and then you can do one. Dip a cookie in it. tie-dye and then put it on a wire rack until it dries. This way, upside down. I know they're kind of hard to pick up. Oh, that's a pretty one. Another? This way? Okay. Very pretty. She's pretty good at this. You're an old pro. Okay, pick that one up. Oh, you know what? That one has a bubble on it. You can use a toothpick to poke the bubbles so that it doesn't stay that way in the glaze. Wanna do a couple more? Are we done? There we go. Okay, you know what? We're low on, on glaze now, so we have to replenish our glaze. We have to put more in there. I want to put them. I'll let you do the white. How's that? Okay. One more. Go ahead, one more. Perfect. And I want to do the toothpick part. You can. Three times. One, two, three. Oh, a little more, I think. Okay. Looks good. Here you go. Dip your cookie. Pretty one. One more. I know that's the best part of baking, isn't it? Here, let me give you. Oh, that's a pretty one. And here's the last one we're going to do. So you get the idea of what to do for our Valentine tie-dye cookies. They look so pretty. They'll take about, oh, probably an hour for the glaze to set up, and then they'll be ready to pack away or to eat, depending on what you want to do. So we hope you liked our recipe. Happy Valentine's Day. See you next time. Bye.